Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. It's 2023. How crazy is that? Um, so oh, it is the second day of the new year. And um, today I've been in the store doing a lot of, you know, miscellaneous stuff here and there. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> um, but uh, how is your new year going? My new year started off pretty slow. I had a really hard time sleeping, um, getting to bed during New Year's. So after New Year's Eve, we kind of stayed up and made sure we rang in the new year. We, we opened the doors to let the old year out and the new year in. We put quarters on our, um, on our window sills and we banged some pots and pans around the cats didn't like that one so much but um we rang in the new year and i thought i was going to go right to bed and that didn't happen that didn't happen i was up for i don't know like until eight in the morning <laughs> um i had a really hard time sleeping and i think i ate too much new year's eve food we had um sauerkraut and fake kielbasa and some um, uh, black eyed peas and vegetables and I ate a lot. I ate a lot. So uh, my stomach was a little upset and I just couldn't get to sleep. I had some heartburn even and um, I think I'm a little allergic to something in that meal whether it was the sauerkraut um, because I, I sometimes have um, hives that develop and they, the doctor said it's from my thyroid disorder. So that can happen. Um, but my lip blew up that night and I started getting itchy. So I had a really hard time getting to sleep. So yesterday, New Year's Day, was spent a lot of time in bed because I didn't get to sleep until about 8 a.m. Um, I got up, I think, around 1.30 or so, 1.30 or 2.00 and had to go to the cottage to make sure the uh, pellet stove was still burning and things were running. Um, it's, it's like 50 some degrees here and it's been very nice, but we're trying to keep the pellet stove going um, even at a low setting so that um, the cottage stays nice and warm. So I slept a lot yesterday, um, did some work, shared some posts, um, and did some things over at the cottage. And then I came home and took another nap. So uh, my New Year's Day was spent very um, kind of leisurely. I did some work, but uh, mostly it was uh, a recuperation kind of day and I needed it. Um, today, I slept pretty good last night, even though I slept most of the day yesterday. I was still able to get to bed by about 2 or 3 a.m., which was good, um, and got up and came into the store today and worked on getting um, what I'm going to show you today in the online store so that it's ready for you all. Um, and um, which I just realized I didn't turn them on yet. So I got to do that before we before we get going, I think. Um, maybe I'll turn them on at the end. I'll show you everything and then we'll turn them on at the end. How about that? So yeah, it's um, it's been a day. Um, I, I, um, it's, it's, it's beat in the new year, everybody. And that snuck up on me, even though I've been talking about it for like a week or two, it's still kind of the actual day. Like we celebrated New Year's Eve, but it feels, still feels like the actual New Year's Day snuck up on me. I don't know how that happens. Um, but so we have the beat in the new year calendar. And um, yesterday was to make a pair of earrings. Did y'all make earrings? I didn't, um, but I did today. Um, so I'm a day behind. Um, today is create a bracelet. So um, I know a lot of you out there are posting in the Allegory Gallery Design Challenge group. We put an album up for Beat in the New Year um, and the album helps. You can post it right on the timeline if you want, but if you put it in the album, it's really nice because then we get to go back later, you know, like in a year from now or two years from now or three years from now, and you can see what everyone made. Um, and if you're just getting started with designing and, you know, some of these prompts are really good for beginners because you get to try new things, um, you'll get to see your progress too. You can look back over the years um, and it's really nice to be able to look back years later and, and see your progress. So I hope um, that you're doing that with us. 
Um, it's just meant for fun. Like I said, I'm a day behind. I know I'm not going to get them all done, all the prompts. I'm going to try and do a good bit of them as much as I can. Um, but I know I'm probably not going to get them all done. That's just being realistic with what we have to do and the day job and, and work for the store. Um, but I'm going to try and do some here and there. And I'm doing them also, I'm showing them on my William Tries Things page. So if you look up William Tries Things on Facebook or Instagram, um, I'm there and you can follow me there and hang out with me there. I post when I try different things for new times. Like I um, did some enameling. Um, I made some earrings today. I'm going to try to do beat in the new year. Um, but uh, we did journaling before. Um, there's a few different things we've tried in William Tries Things. So if you haven't checked that out, I hope you will. And hang out with me there and try new things. Make 2023 the year you try new things. Um, that's what I hope. It's going to be a continuation of trying new things. More so, I hope, than last year. Um, I got on a good roll when I started William Tries Things. And then I... Um, then it just became too much. I made it very scheduled and very... Like, it was a very you know, organized, scheduled thing. And I think that was just too much with everything else going on. So my William Tries Things has become a little bit looser, a lot looser, actually. Um, but if you are trying things, I have a group called The Triers. And you can join that group, too, and hang out with us. And if you try new things, please post in the group and let me know. Um, let us all know. I love to see what you're all trying, what you're all doing. Um, and that group is connected to the page. So if you search William Tries Things, you'll see the page on Facebook. And then if you go to the group tab, you'll see the group and you can join the group there. Um, but yeah, I think it's very important to keep trying new things, especially, you know, as we get older, um, all the research says that engaging your brain and learning new things is very good for you. So um, that's one of the main things that I've been trying to um, get myself used to is, is continuing to learn and try different things. Um, so what else? Let's see. Let's see, who, let's see who's here. Who's with me today? Suzanne is here. AGB fam out there. Um, thank you for tuning in. Emily is with us. Sandra is with us. Happy New Year to everybody out there. Norma has joined us. Marianne is with us. Marianne says it's a delightful 29 here today. Yeah, we're at 53. Went up to 55, I guess, here today. Um, it looks cold because it's raining. Um, and it's January. So it looks like it should be cold outside. And I opened the door to pull the flag in. And I was like, ooh, it's like a heat wave out here. So January at 55 is kind of crazy, but um, that's what it is. And I'm not going to complain about it right now. Um, hello, Susie. Thank you for tuning in. Barbara is with us. Thank you for joining us. Um, Marianne says, so far, so good. And beat in the new year. Nice. I've seen you've done some beautiful things, some earrings and a bracelet. Um, I just caught your bracelet here, right? I think just before the, the, um, the live started. And it looks really good. Um, Norma says, I'm a day behind too, working on both a bracelet and earrings today. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna get a bracelet done today, um, but I, I will probably get that done tomorrow. Um, and uh, tomorrow's is use silk in your design. So use some kind of silk. Um, now I should say that if you download the PDF of this, which is available on our blog on allegorygallery.com. Go to the blog, find this post. I think it's the first post on the second page of the blog. And if you tap on these, on the PDF file, like the silk in your design, that'll take you to our online store where it has silk stuff. And you can buy that if you need it for your designs. So anything that we have in our online store that is in the, in the project that you're supposed to make for that day, if you tap on that day or click on that day, it'll take you to our online store and you can buy stuff if you need to. Um, well, this, this challenge is not necessarily um, that you're supposed to buy stuff from us. It helps. It helps us. But um, it is good for um, it's good for anything. So whatever you have in your stash, a lot of people are trying to clear out some of their stash using this, which is a great thing to do, too. Let's see here. Hello, Amanda. How are you doing? Ask how everyone's doing. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, Bonnie says, forgot about the new times. New times. Don't know what you mean, new times. Um, <sighs> new times. Maybe just dates? I don't know. Um, maybe I said something. My brain is running on half energy. I feel like I might be getting a cold of some sort or something. Um, my throat started feeling a little bit mm, today. A little bit not quite scratchy, but a little bit tight. I don't like that feeling. 
Um, feeling a little warm behind my eyelids, you know, behind your eyes, when your eyes feel warm. You get, do you get that? My eyes sometimes feel warm behind them. Um, and that's like, I'm like, mm, that's like head cold stuff. Um, it's weird because I've barely been out. Um, I don't know where I would have gotten sick, but um, um, our friend Barb is still sick. Uh, she thought she was going to be in to do some shipping today, and she is not. Um, she's been tested for COVID like four times, and it's all negative. Um, she's been to two different specialists, doctors. Um, one gave steroids, one gave antibiotics. So we're going to see what, what actually is going on. Hopefully she gets better um, sooner rather than later. Um, she doesn't get sick very often. So um, she's it's making her a little bit crazy, I think. So our shipping is behind if you've made any orders. Um, we're trying our best to get everything out as much as we can. Um, if there is something that you absolutely need, um, or in a rush for, please do message us and we'll do our best to get it out for you. Um, I should say email us. Don't message us. Email us. I got to be careful with my word choice. Um, email is the best. Info at allegorygallery.com. You can send us an email there. I check that every day, pretty much um, weekdays. I don't usually check it on the weekends, so, um, but I do check it during the week. Um, let's see here. Marion, I'm hoping that my silk might arrive in time for Wednesday. Nice, nice. Did it get shipped out? Hopefully. Um, we're, I know we're a little bit behind right now. Um, let's see. Suzanne says, I keep the prompts all year for when I get blocked creatively. That's a good idea too. Keep that calendar. Because even if you do it all now, you might want to look back on it later. Or if you don't do it all now, you can do it throughout the year. There's no pressure. There's no pressure here. Um, you can do each one every day. You can do them in different orders if you want to. Um, you know, do what works for you. It's just really for all of you out there to stay creative and not get blocked up. Um, let's see here. Robin says, your evil eye earrings are beautiful. Thank you. I'm going to be, I'm going to show them when I flip the camera around a little more, but there, there, that's one of them. That's one of them. I'll show them a little better when we flip the camera around here. Um, Bonnie says, Happy New Year, 21 here, snow coming. Yeah, I hear, I saw an article, but I haven't gotten a chance to read it. I saved it for later, but it's talking about a big snowstorm coming across the U.S. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. Suzanne says, we're in the mid-70s with severe rain due tomorrow. Yikes, that rain is tricky for all of you down there, I know. Susie says, it's been crazy foggy here. I think I saw one of your posts on Facebook about how foggy it was. That's really wild. Um, let's see here. Marianne says, merci beaucoup. Necklace tomorrow, though. Nice. Um, oh, yeah, necklace is tomorrow. What I'm saying, not silk in your design. Did I do that backward? Did I do that? get ahead of myself? Necklace is tomorrow. Yes, Marianne's right. Um, I'm a day ahead and a day behind happens. I kind of, Tuesday's like, I don't even count Tuesday in the week because I'm not even here. I'm at my other job. So Tuesday's kind of disappear for me most of the time. So she is with us. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Amanda says, waiting for dinner. I'm good. Nice. I don't know what we're going to have for dinner. I messaged Andrew earlier to see if I should go to the, to the, um, I'm just checking my watch to see if he messaged back. If I should go to the grocery store today, but he hasn't said anything. Um, Let's see. Amanda says, oops, it jumped on me. I'm going to check the design page for everyone's creations. Yeah, we made a calendar or not a calendar, an album. So you can go in that album. Most people are putting this stuff in the album, which is great. That way it doesn't get lost in the timeline. Um, but if you didn't put it in the album, you can find it on the timeline too. But it's great to be able to look right at the album and see what everyone's making. Hello, Janice. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Bonnie says, sorry, I'm not sure what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying most of the time, so it's all right. It's all right. Um, where do I find those? What are those, Carla? Um, let me know what those are and I can help you. Um, Marion says, yes, it was shipped, but it was still in Toronto this morning. I see. Good. At least it shipped. <laughs> I'm glad it shipped out. Um, Amanda says, our snow is gone in southern Ontario. Nice. Janice says, crazy January 2nd weather here. Severe storms are possible early this evening. Foggy all day here. It's been rainy but calm here, which is nice. Calm. Oh, the prompts, Carla, you can get this calendar if you go to allegorygallery.com. I'm going to put that up there for you, allegorygallery.com. Go to our blog tab, and I believe if you go to the second page, scroll down to the bottom, go to the second page on the blog, and you'll be able to download this calendar in that blog post. Um, 
You can also see this calendar in the design challenge group on Facebook. Um, we've posted it on our timeline on Facebook. Um, but the if you want to get the one that you can click to go to our store to buy stuff if you need to, you have to do that on the PDF because um, the other ones are JPEGs and you can't link on JPEGs. So you can get it on the blog, you can get it on the design challenge group, you can get it on the um, in our allegory gallery timeline if you scroll down far enough. I don't know where it is in there. I think it's pinned at the top maybe too. Um, let's see. You're welcome. Um, Susan is here. Happy New Year. Um, yeah, so a lot is happening here at Allegory Gallery. Um, let me take you on a quick tour of everything um, that is happening. Um, oh, wait. Sandra says, I couldn't figure out how to add a pic to the album. Um, if you're on a phone or a tablet and you're not using a web browser, if you click on, I shared the album, and at the top, on Facebook, it will say William Jones or Allegory Gallery shared the album and the album will be dark black in bold. Click on that. That'll take you to a place where you can actually add your photos. If you use the link I put up there, and I tried to say that in the post, if you just use the link, you have to be in a web browser for that to take you there. If you're on the app, it's not going to take you anywhere that you can add anything. So you have to click at the very top. It says William Jones shared an album or Allegory Gallery shared the album Beat in the New Year 2023. If you click on that actual album name, it'll take you um, into the album that you can add to if you're using the app. If you're on a web browser, I shared the link. You should be able to use that link and it should work. Should. Facebook's weird sometimes. Um, yes, so... We released two different mystery boxes over New Year's. Um, so there's a big mystery box and a little mystery box. The big mystery box is 75 US dollars. The little mystery box is 25 US dollars. The little mystery box is a surprise inspiration kit is what that's going to be. Um, the big mystery box is like all of our regular mystery boxes. It comes in a small priority box. They're about this big. Um, they look like a VHS cassette tape for anyone who remembers those. It's kind of that general size. And um, they are packed full of stuff. Packed full of stuff. Um, it's $75. I think the retail value we say is guaranteed to be over $140. Shipping for US bound people um, U.S. bound addresses is included in that $75. So you're getting above and beyond because shipping on that is like $9 right now. Um, so you're getting an extra good deal. Um, last time we raised our prices to $85 on the mystery boxes, but for New Year's we decided to bring them back down to the old $75 price. Um, so grab those while you can um, because that's an exceptional deal. Um, because really we're, we're getting about $65 after shipping, um, and we're still giving you $140 worth of value in that box. Um, they are a pre-order and it says that in the bottom of the description, it'll be about two or three weeks is what we're estimating to get them out to you. Hopefully that works out. Um, we have to get them out before Andrew goes to Tucson. That's the biggest, the biggest thing. Um, so we started working on those to get them out to you. Um, they are, you know, we're going to chalk them full of stuff, chock full of stuff for inspiration for the new year. So, um, they are available in the online store at allegorygallery.com. Um, there are a very limited number available, a very limited number available. Um, one of them is going to be, uh, is going to have one of Andrew's handmade pendants in it. Um, and somebody should win that if we sell out. Um, remember, if we don't sell out, the pendant could be, because we pack them all up, seal them shut, and then we just pick one as we send them out to people. So um, the pendant can get put in one that never sells. So if we sell out, somebody's going to get that pendant. If we don't sell out, someone might get that pendant. Um, that's the way it works. Um, so uh, Amanda's asking, is there a theme? It's um, inspiration. So there is no particular theme. We don't usually do a theme to our mystery boxes because then that would ruin the mystery in a way. Um, so these are complete mysteries. Um, and we will be pulling items from Andrew's private stash and our bead room at Star Cottage Studio to fill them with good, good stuff. Um, I think anyone who's gotten a mystery box from us before knows we pack them full. 
Um, we always hate, you know, we buy mystery boxes and mystery things from other people too. And it's always disappointing if they're not, you know, like full, like you want to feel like you got your money's worth. You want to feel like there's a lot of little things in there. And, and as you unpack it, there's a lot of little things to lay out and take a look at. Um, that's what we like to do. So that is what's going on with the mystery boxes. They are available at allegorygallery.com for a limited time or until they sell out. Um, so that's that. We also started our book club again, Inspired by Reading. So if you search on Facebook, Inspired by Reading Book Club, you'll see that there. Um, it is a group. It is a group. I just got a box. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Marianne says, I got a pendant two boxes ago. Makes a great deal exceptional. Thank you. Yeah, somebody just bought a box. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. I could see that um, come through because I know when it comes through $75 even, I know that's a mystery box because there's no shipping on it. Um, also, also, if you are international, um, the mystery boxes are available to you. You will pay extra, like high probably shipping um, because they are sent by priority boxes and the priority mail is a good bit of money going to another country. Um, but um, whatever the amount is that we um, pay for the U.S. boxes to be shipped out, whether that's eight or nine dollars, whatever it is now, we will take that off your shipping and refund that amount to you. So at least it won't be the full shipping charge that you're charged. Um, we will give you the equivalent of what we cover for U.S. bound addresses in that shipping. Um, so that's great, I think. I mean, that's as best as we can do. Unfortunately, we can't give free shipping for everybody, but um, I wish we could, but it, we would end up making no money <laughs> if, if we opened that up because I think a lot of our international people would love to get them and I wish we could do something more, but we can at least give you the amount back that we spend for the U.S. addresses. Um, okay, so the book club, Inspired by Reading, that is available. The book list is on our website. It's in, We have a blog post about it. You can go to the um, groups tab on our website. So there's a groups tab and at the top of that groups tab, that page that comes up, you'll see inspired by reading and there's a link to the Facebook group in case you can't find it by searching Facebook. Um, there's another page called inspired by reading that is not us. Um, somebody else started that after us, but um, we never really wanted its own page for the book club because it, it got you know, we would have reserved it, but having too many pages and too many groups and all that together is a little bit messy. So we just have a group for Inspired by Reading. And what Inspired by Reading is, is there is a list um, of right now 12 books. So um, January 2023, um, we go every month. There's a book except December. December, we just let the holidays be the holidays because everybody is too busy. We've learned from the past. Everybody is too busy in December to read a book and make something. Um, so we have January through November and then December we have off and then we have a book for January, 2024. And we took a lot of the recommendations that people, I think every one of them that somebody submitted a recommendation for a book. Um, and we used that in the list and then we added more to the list. Um, so we have 12 books. Um, if you go to the groups tab on our website, you will see all the books. And if you click on the titles of the books, that will take you to Amazon to purchase the books if you want to purchase them that way. If you do use those links, they are affiliate links, so we get a little bit of a kickback. Um, you know, we don't like to use Amazon for tons of stuff, but um, if we can make a little bit of passive money on that, that helps us. So if you do buy them that way, know that you are helping us. Um, we also recommend all the time, use your local bookstore if you have one. Ask them if they can order these books for you. Give them the list. Let them order them if they can. You know, uh, there are lots of there are lots of lists online and different places that you can order from small independent bookstores, and we highly recommend that if you can as well. But if you do use the Amazon links, don't feel so bad because you are also giving us a kickback on those. All right. So the book club is ready to go. January, uh, January, it's going to be January 29th. Looking at the calendar, how convenient. January 29th is our in-store meeting. It's the last Sunday of every month from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern time. So if you are local and you are in the book club, read the book. 
and come on Sunday, January 29th, the last Sunday of every month from 6 to 9 p.m. to hang out, make stuff with us. If you've, sorry, if you've not made stuff already, you can come make stuff. If you have made stuff, you can come show it. We can discuss the book. Um, somebody asked us if we can have the, the virtual meeting at the same time as the in-store meeting, and that's hard to do. That gets a little bit complicated. Uh, one of the reasons is, is because when all the locals here get together, and it's probably the same with you, if you have locals in your community and you get together, you talk about everything. We talk about what's going on in this in the town. We talk about what's going on in people's lives. And sometimes people want to keep that more private. So we do not broadcast the live or the, the online meeting at the same time as our in-store meeting. So we're looking for a time period that people would be happy with doing this uh, remotely in, in the online world because we've never really done a full online meeting, like a Zoom meeting or something like that for the book club. Uh, we used to do some smaller type of things. We used to sometimes broadcast some of our things, but we found that it's just best to have two separate ones. So we are going to look for a time slot that works uh, for hopefully most people in the group. So if you are in the uh, Inspired by Reading group, and Andrew put up a little post there, I believe, already asking, when would you all want to get together? So in the comments, please do answer that because we will use that to judge on when people would be available to get together and do that. Um, it's, it's, it's fun. The book club has always been online as well, but it used to be done more as a, I think we used to do a blog hop with it at one point and uh, people would get together in various parts of the country. They had their own little, their own little groups and meeting times that they'd get together and then they would share in the in the actual Inspired by Reading Facebook group, what they did and, and the projects they made. So we wanna to try to do like we are with our uh, creative make-alongs, we wanna do a more interactive meeting. We haven't done that before. So let us know in the Inspired by Reading group, Andrew asked the question, uh, when would you all wanna to get together? So if you're remote, let us know, answer that, and that'll help us. Uh, let's see, da, da, da. Marian says, I downloaded the first book from the library. Great, that's a perfect way to do it. Um, it's that's another option too so you can download from the library if you are a member of your local library or you have a library system that you're able to tie into you can download those you can get them from the library libraries local bookstores best places if you can if you use the amazon link though you will give us a kickback so that helps um Norma says, that was me uh, making the order. I'm guessing I missed out a couple times lately by waiting too long, and I'm starting the new year by not doing that again. Nice, nice. So thank you. Uh, Marion says, my mystery box purchase is a birthday present for myself. Nice, nice. Uh, let's see here. The books you chose look really good. Yeah, that was a, that, you know, we, we, took, uh, we took requests from you all, and I think we used, I think, Andrew went through and used every book y'all gave us. Um, that doesn't always happen. Uh, it just depends if it feels like a good fit for the club or not. And um, looks like everyone got through as far as I could see, um, unless I missed something. And then Andrew added to it. He reads more than I do because uh, he listens to audiobooks and he can work while he listens to audiobooks. I have a really hard time doing that. So I don't get to read as much. Um, and just sitting down reading is hard for me. So he chose the books um, and uh, from all of your input and from things that he's read or things that he wants to read. So that's up and ready for y'all. So mystery boxes are out. Inspired by Reading Book Club is back at it again for 2023. We're super excited about that. And Oh, it's just about 5.30. So I said at 5.30, we're going to start showing you stuff. So let's get to it. Uh, I did get some requests from some of you all for the uh, artisan beads that we showed uh, last time we got together, whatever day that was. And so uh, if you did not hear back from me, I may have missed your email or it got it went missing. I don't know. So if you didn't hear something back, uh, please send me another email. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you some of the earrings I made today for Bead in the New Year. If you didn't see those, let me 
so many steps just to flip the camera. All right. So um, I made a simple pair of earrings. I used these um, little evil eye protection beads along with our evil eye chain, which if you saw our chain live at five, look at that chain. Super easy. So really, these were really, really easy. I used an ear wire, silver plated ear wire. I used a length of chain that's just doubled over. So it's just a length of chain. And then I just made a little, a little loop with a piece of wire on each side through the bead to hold that on. So very simple, um, but I don't do wire wrapping very often. So those little loops took me a little while, actually. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to admit that. So those are my little evil eye earrings. And um, hopefully you've made some earrings for yesterday or today. Whenever, whenever you get that done, that's okay. No hurries for anybody, right? No hurries. You don't have to... Don't have to get wild um, with the beat in the new year challenge. It's just to be fun for everybody. That's the point. We want it to be fun for everybody. All right. So if you want any of these things, we have them available. Uh, the ear wires are available. The chain is available. The chain is only 85 cents an inch. So you can see here I used what, maybe three, four inches of chain each one at most. Um, so those are pretty inexpensive earrings. And I think you could sell those for a little bit more at a, at a show. Uh, especially now, a lot of people are asking for evil eye stuff. So Sandra says those are cute. Thank you. I thought they were just fun. Just a fun little thing. So there are those. That's what I made for yesterday. For yesterday. And um, today is make a bracelet. And I have not yet made a bracelet. We'll see if I make a bracelet. I make a lot of bracelets during the the um, creative make-alongs. So it shouldn't be hard for me to do a bracelet, really. But um, for some reason, sometimes, sometimes it is a little bit harder. You know? Sometimes you just don't get to things. So that's okay, too. But yeah, um, if you like those earrings, we have all the items to make those earrings available in stock. So just send us an email, and I will be happy to... Um, get them for you. All right. Okay. What else? I guess we'll get on to the, get on to the African glass beads. Um, so these are going to be in the online store following this presentation. Okay. You do not have to send us an email to claim any of these. Just, um, you know, kind of keep track. I will give you the SKU numbers. Um, of each one. And then you can type those into the online store once this presentation is over. Um, just give me a few minutes to turn them on and you can go in and get, you know what, I'm just going to turn them on now. How about that? Because that way, if you want to buy them while we're talking about them, because sometimes I forget, um, well, it's not so much I forget, but it's harder sometimes just to do it, just to do it, um, you know, as, as afterwards, it's easier just to go in and be able to get them right now. So let me just take a few minutes. Um, it's not going to take too long, but while I'm doing this, I can start with the first one. Let's get this out here. So you have something to look at. So you have something to look at. These are African glass beads. And again, I'm going to be turning these on. So they're available in the online store. In just a few moments, if my tablet would do what I want it to do. Let me see. Almost done, everybody. Talk amongst yourselves. It's like coffee talk, coffee talk, right? Used to love that skit on Saturday Night Live a lot. Harry downloaded the first book for book club. Thank you. Glad you're joining us too. So they are now in the online store or will be in a few seconds. So if you go into the uh, latest editions tab, these will be under the latest editions. They should also be in the African. Um, if you type in African, they should pop up as well. 
So um, each one of these strands, the first probably almost 20 strands here or so, they're $15 each only. And these are long strands. They range from about 24 inches to um, down to about, I think the shortest strand I have is 19 inches. Um, but most of them are around 21, 22 inches. And these are African glass beads. $15 a strand. This one is seven, I'm sorry, 3179-1. These are all going to be 3179 for at least the first 20 some. 3179 and then dash one. These are dash one. All right. $15 each only. Now, the reason we're doing this, why African glass, you ask? Because our first um, global adventure kit uh, that were that we debuted as the TGBE mystery kit for the midwinter market coming up. That's the first global adventure kit also. So if you want to make some add-ons, do some add-ons, um, you can add on by using some of the African beads. There are already Molly wedding beads in the online store. Um, there are some Molly ceramic um, in the online store. Uh, there are now these African glass strands in the online store. There are a number of African items in the online store, including in the AG Fine Pewter line, there are African inspired um, AG Fine Pewter pieces that some of those are also in the kit, which you would have got if you got the TGBE mystery kit, um, which is also the first global adventure kit. Um, it's hard to talk about all those because it's a little confusing, but the Global Adventure Kit is the same as the Midwinter Market Kit for TGBE. We're going to be working with that for the TGBE. Um, and if you want some add-ons to, to expand that kit and to make it a little bit bigger or give yourself um, you know, some more beads, we're putting more African beads into the online store throughout the month of January. So that's what we hope to do um, with any of the, the Global Adventure kits that we make. We are going to be adding um, beads from that part of the world um, into the online store as the months go on. All right. So that was 3179-1. This is 3179-2. And if you go into the online store and you type in 3179-2, this will come up, or it should, it better. Um, and it will give you the size of the beads and the length of the strand in the description and also in the, the actual item name. Um, Harry says, I uploaded the pictures of my Mary Magnum sculpture mint box statement piece to Facebook a bit ago. I have not seen it, I don't think. Um, so I'll have to take a look after the after the live. So these are also $15, 3179-2. And so we're going to take you on... And, and like I said, these are in the online store. And I tried as best as I can to make sure all the colors... Um, look like they should, but your screen may differ. Um, so, you know, that's one thing. So please don't buy them and say, this look different on screen because they might be, they might look different. But um, I wanted to also show them in video because, you know, sometimes video is just best. Most of the time it's, it's best for showing things. I like these beads a lot. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the ends are kind of, faceted just on the ends um so it, it, they give kind of this almost triangle design on the end on each end and they end up looking twisted like that which is really cool i like these ones this is 3179-3 3179-3 now some of these strands are going to look like each other um <clears throat> but you know some of them are similar and they do look very similar to one another, but I didn't want to, you know, put them into stock and say, oh, we have three of these ones, or we have two of these ones. I wanted to do each one with its own lot um, because they are, you know, just different enough that I wanted to be sure that when you saw photos, you were actually going to get the strand that you saw in the photos. Um, we like to do that when things are, you know, a little bit different. Because, yes, I'm going to have another strand that's orange like this, I think, coming up. 
and it's going to be similar, but it's not the same, right? So when they're different enough, we like to do them as their own lots. So this is 3179-4. 3179-4. This is probably one of my very favorites. I love these orange ones. I just think they're so pretty. And I love the colors and I love the variation of color from light and dark that you get in that. But African glass beads. Bonnie says these are so cheery. They are, right? Just bright little, and they are a nice bright orange. They're a nice pretty orange. Like not too bright that they're obnoxious. You know, sometimes when colors get too bright, they're hard to use in jewelry. Um, but these are just, they're bright enough to be cheery, but they're not, you know, hard to use. I don't think so. So there you go. 3179-4 is the SKU if you want to go right to that one. Or if you go to our website and you just go right to the latest items tab, um, that'll pop up for you all of these that I'm showing you. You can actually get a, a sneak peek of them before I even show them to you, but it'll be a picture and not a video. Videos are nice when you're looking at these kind of things as we found out. This is another favorite of mine, the red. I love red. Red and green are my two favorite colors. No surprise that Christmas is one of my favorite seasons because of the color choice, if nothing else. Um, this is 3179-5. 3179-5. And these are beautiful red glass beads from Africa. That is a pretty, pretty color right there. It's that nice, I love a blue red um, more so than an orangey red. Um, so these are more on the blue red side of things and I love these deep rich red colors. Bonnie says, I like that they have larger holes too. Yes, they do. As you can see the kind of, the kind of string that goes through them, they are a little bit larger um, than some other beads. So there they are, 3179-5 is the red. Coming up is 3179-6. 3179-6 are these little blue, little nice little glass beads. 3179-6 in the online store. $15 a strand. All of these so far have been $15 a strand only. 3179-6. And again, each one of these is listed in the store um, on its own. So uh, the one that you buy, whatever you see in the photo, is the one that you're going to get. It's the one that you're going to get. Um, Bonnie says, do you think you can get one millimeter leather through them? I would say yes, most of these anyway. Um, you can kind of see maybe how big that, that piece of um, natural material is going through them. I'm going to say like these ones, for example, easily one millimeter, maybe even 1.5. Cynthia says, love that blue. Hello, Cynthia. Um, I missed your live the other day. I got to watch the replay. Cynthia had a live. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday, I think. Yesterday? Yes, yeah, Sunday. You usually do Sunday. And I totally missed it because I was telling everyone, I don't know if you were here yet, that I slept most of the day because I didn't fall asleep until about 8 a.m. because I couldn't sleep. And so I totally slept through. So I need to go back and watch it. So if you all missed it, um, make sure you go back and watch the Green Girl Studios live. I don't know what you even got up to. Um, I've been so bad not even checking my email to see what you were talking about. Bonnie says, I watched Cynthia yesterday after the live. Very good content. Good. I'm glad somebody was watching because I didn't, I was sleeping. Didn't even realize. Didn't even realize. So this is 3179-7. 3179-7, a little bit of a green color, beautiful green color on these, and $15. Lovely, lovely. Now, Cynthia goes live on Facebook only, I believe, still. Um, so if you want to watch, be sure that if you're watching us here on YouTube, 
Um, you can watch them on Facebook. Let's see. Cindy says, thanks for the shout out. Azalea and I got up to painting face plates and some wax work and also showed the pile of bronze coins. Nice. I need, I definitely need to watch that. I will probably watch that tonight while I'm eating dinner um, because I want to see that. So be sure everyone, uh, Cynthia, if you want to put the link to the live in the comments here, that would, that might help people get there too. If you can get it, sometimes it's hard to get the links to those directly. But definitely go over to the Green Girl Studios Facebook page and check their live tab and check out yesterday's live because I'm going to be watching it tonight. 3179-7. Bonnie says, looks uh, like it runs slightly turquoise. Um, yeah, I could see that. The green turquoise, I could see that. Now, some of this, you'll see too, like some pieces on the strand are darker. Like you can see some of these are lighter then they transition to a dark and then a light again. And I tried to get that in the pictures when I could. Um, so I'm going to say, yeah, definitely. These could, these could head toward the turquoise side of things. Um, if you're looking at the green, green turquoise and probably more the lighter green. Bonnie says, I need to get some of the bronze coins. Cynthia. Get those coins, get the coins. Donna says, I've got to back and watch the live. I missed it too. Yeah. I was not feeling good after I ate too much stuff, I think, for New Year's Eve. Um, maybe slightly allergic to sauerkraut. It used to make my throat swell a little bit. Um, and I cooked it really good this time and long, and it helped. But then I dumped um, some in that wasn't cooked as much in the end to add to it. And I started feeling like my throat was closing again. So I think if it's not cooked enough for me, for some reason, it's the weirdest thing because it's supposed to be it's so good for you. And I love it, but I think I ate too much. So I got sick and didn't feel great and couldn't sleep until about 8 a.m. on New Year's Day. And then I slept all day long. And then I got up and I did some work and then I went back and took a nap again because I still wasn't feeling great. Um, Cindy says, Azalea has been restocking all day, all day. Good, good. Restock, make those sales. So if everybody wants to go over to Green Girl Studios and grab some stuff too, you know, that helps. That helps us all. Um, somebody out there, it looks like linked. Hopefully that's the link to that video and not some spam because I can only see Facebook user. I can't see who that is. If I can trust them out there. Um, Bonnie says, oh no, be careful. So these are, this is 3179-8 for these orange. 3179-8. Cindy says, I love the colors of African glass. I have a big collection. Yeah, we're trying to part with some of our collection here. That's why we're getting it in the online store for y'all. If you got the uh, TGB Midwinter kit of ours, the mystery kit, it was African inspired. It's the first trip on our global adventure series kits. Um, the first trip is Africa. So if you've gotten that kit, you can add to it. If you didn't get the kit, you can still buy some African beads from us and play along. Still play along, right? So this is 3179-9. These are kind of a purple, a light purple color, which is really, really pretty. Um, not always easy to photograph some of these colors. So I tried my best to make them look right. But um, the video, I think, gives you a really good idea of the color. Because this looks on my screen exactly like it does in person. So if you're on an iPhone right now, it should look pretty, pretty good as far as realistic. Okay, so this is 3179-9. If you type that into the search bar in the online store, 3179-9, it should pop right up as this one for you if you want to purchase that one directly. Or you can search African, or you can go into the latest items collection, and you'll see all of them lined up in the latest items collection. But if you search African beads, or African in general, just the word African, all the African beads should pop up and you'll be able to purchase any of those if you want to add on to your Global Adventure Kit and work with those. Next up is 3179-10. 3179-10 are these orangey ones. These are a little bit lighter, I think, than the last ones we had. Um, just a tiny, tiny bit lighter. Just a tiny bit. Um, but beautiful orange color. I love these. 
So he says, I think they go with a lot of different beads. I've paired them with seed beads, check beads, wood, and obviously gems. I think it gives a bohemian vibe. Definitely. Definitely. You know, I these are handmade, right? Handmade glass from Africa. I think it's so nice to add something handmade when you're working on projects and it can give a totally different look. I should say handcrafted. That's the thing. When you use the word handmade, sometimes that makes it sound um, like, as Andrew would say, loving hands of home. Um, but these are handcrafted, right? There's nothing wrong with these being made by hand. They're actually really beautiful and really um, interesting. So um, handcrafted, let's say handcrafted. So this is again, 3179-10 in the online store. All these are so far $15 a strand only. And these are, as I said, the ones I'm showing you are generally between 20 and 24 inch strands. But all the description for the size of everything, including the beads. And of course, these beads differ because they are handcrafted. So <clears throat> I took what I considered the average size of the beads on the strand. They're not all going to be the same. I think these beads were like two by three, but they're not all two by three millimeters, for example. This is 3179-11, 3179-11. These ones are really, really pretty because they have almost a pearlescence to them when the light hits them. I don't know if you're seeing that or if you're able to see that in here, but it's a really pretty kind of pearlescence. I tried to capture that in the photo that I used. So if you look up 3179-11 in the online store, hopefully you'll be able to see that. But these are purple with like a pink pearlescent shine to them. One of my very favorite strands as well. I like the orange ones, I like the red ones, and I like these ones. Those are my favorites so far. The little orange ones. I do like the big orange ones too, but the little orange ones especially. Cindy says, I love the way they are made now are the same way they were made 200 years ago from recycled glass, right? Still doing things the same way, making beautiful beads for you to use in your beautiful jewelry making. 3179-11 is the strand. Add those to your online cart and check out fast if you want to get these because there's only one strand of each. I don't know how long they'll last. Maybe they'll last a long time. Maybe people buy them up and they won't last a long time. You never know. You never know. We never know either when we put something in the online store. We hope it sells fast, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Next up, 3179-12. 3179-12. These are much bigger, but they're also still $15. These definitely look like glass beads. They're they almost have like a clear coating, and I'm not sure if they do, um, but they're this beautiful blue. And I love this look. We have these in blue, yellow, and red you're going to see coming up in this kind of style. And the red is definitely my favorite, I will say that. And I think there's only one strand of that. We have a few strands of the yellow. Um, and I think maybe one or two strands of this blue. Um, something sold. That looked like maybe a strand sold, so thank you out there. Um, Bonnie says, William, do you think the holes are similar on all the strands, or do they all vary? They're handmade, so I'm going to say they vary even from bead to bead. Um, but generally, they all have this same um, thickness of... Um, natural material, and I forget what this natural material is that they're strung on. Um, so like these holes, these holes look pretty big in these ones. These are like two millimeter probably in these. Um, but uh, it's hard for me to say because they are all handcrafted. So even the holes between the beads could be different, but they all do have generally the same size um, strand going through them. So I mean, I haven't noticed a huge variance in the thickness of this. These might be a little bit thicker than others. And of course, these are very um, pliable. So they squish down a little bit, but it's hard to say. It's hard to say. And some of these are so tight. I was going to try and, and put the whole sizes on them. Um, 
but they're so tight and the the natural material takes up most of the hole that i can't get a measurement in there very well so i'm gonna say most of them are probably one to one and a half millimeter uh, leather okay but i can't guarantee that for everything beautiful beautiful african beads this is 3179-12 Um, Cindy says the bright color comes from the white core. Yeah, that these I should say these do have a white core to them. And so it gives you that nice bright blue color. Thank you, Cynthia. And next up are the yellow version of that. The yellow version, 3179-13. 3179-13. And you can see these are different size beads, right? You can see that just looking at it. So I tried to take an average when I listed the size, um, but please do know that some will be smaller, some will be larger. That's just the nature of these being handcrafted. They're not all the same. 3179-13 for these beautiful bright, bright yellow. And like I said, I love these because this style it almost has a clear coat over it, which it might. It might be the yellow, but you get this beautiful glistening shine on them. And it, it kind of magnifies that just a little bit. Beautiful. 3179-13. Only $15 so far for all of these, no matter which ones you like. Next up, these beautiful gray-blue color. They're like an icy gray-blue. Um, love these. They have that same kind of triangle cut faceting on each end. Um, I think we had green ones like this before. This is 3179-14. 3179-14. And remember, if you order multiple times with us, you'll be charged shipping multiple times, but we will refund your shipping when we combine your orders together. So you will only pay what we pay in shipping. We never overcharge shipping. 3179-14. So that's why I say that is because some people don't want to wait until the very end of the video to put them all in the cart and then check out with what they've got. Um, they want to make sure they secure those as we're going. So you can send multiple orders and we will refund your shipping um, when the day comes that we ship out. I will let you know if you missed the beginning, our shipper has been off sick. So we're trying to ship out as much as we can, but time is <clears throat> um, tight with us getting ready for Tucson. So we are behind. And um, we will do our best to get things out. If you absolutely must have your beads um, soon, please just put that in a note or send us an email and we can look into getting your beads out for you. All right, but we ask you to please be patient as we are working through and trying to get what we can out until Barb feels better. She thought she was gonna be in today and she realized still not great, unfortunately. That was 3179-14 for those. One of, I love that color. I love that color. Okay, here's the red that I was talking about being my favorite of this um, kind of glassy series. 3179-15. Look how bright and just luminous those are. Beautiful. That whole red, yellow, and blue series like this. If you're going to get one, just get them all because um, they are beautiful. 3179-15. These, I don't know why we still have them. <clears throat> um, <laughs> it's just, you know, sometimes things get hidden and people don't really see them. So we're putting these in the online store so that you can get them more easily to go along with the Global Adventure African Beads. Global Adventure African Bead Kit. Um for January. That's the January's global adventure. Just got another order. Thank you so much out there. This is 3179-15. If it's still available in the online store, you can grab that. 
lovely, lovely red color. These are only $15. Now, these are 21-ish to 24-ish inch strands. And I didn't count this. I'm just counting this part right here. These are 21 to 24 inches generally. These are super long strands for the price. $15 only. That's a good deal. Cynthia says, Greg loves that color. Me too. Marianne says, think that was me. Thank you, Marianne. Donna says, that bead kit is really beautiful. I love African beads. And we're going to be adding some more African beads to the online store as well. So throughout the month of January, we will be or adding more and more African beads to the online store so that you can, you know, boost up that kit and get more beads from Africa to add on to your global adventure kit. Cindy says, I should get the red beads for a necklace for him, right? I love that color. I love it, love it, love it. We only have one strand of the red um, in, that, in that style. So if you like it, if it's not already gone, someone get it. Donna says, stop, <laughs> right? Good stuff, right, Donna? Good stuff. All right, 3179-16. On this strand, you get two different beads. I think we've seen both of these before, these little round ones and these little cylinder ones, but you get a little bit of a, you know, sometimes the strands come with more than one kind on it. That's just the fun of it all. So this is 3179-16. 3179-16. This is a multi-strand, I'm going to call it, because it has two different kinds of African beads on it. It has these that are more cylindrical and these that are more round. Slightly different colors, but they go well together. This is 3179-16. We have a few strands like this that are multi. Um, this is one of them. I think there's one more, and if I already didn't go through it, I can't remember. There's another order in the online store. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Let's start out this new year good. We appreciate all the help. We are getting ready for Tucson, and Tucson is a big bill for us. We have to pay a lot for our table um, that we're going to be at in Tucson, and we never know if we're going to sell anything. Um, sometimes people don't like the artisan-made stuff when they're in Tucson. They just want, like, the gemstones. So we never know. So we're going to be spending a lot of money to not know what's going to happen. So all of your support really helps and we appreciate that. All right. So if you like the blue ones on that last strand, these are like the blue ones that were on the last strand. They're a little bit more blue, but this is 3179-17. 3179-17. All of these strands are $15 each only in the online store right now. 3179- Did I say 17? Yeah, 17. 3179-17. And these are kind of roundish, you know, as round as a handmade bead, handcrafted bead is going to get sometimes, right? Good color in these, though. I love this rich blue color. All right. Okay, this one's a little bit of a weird, um, this is another one of these, like this, this blue, 3179-18A. Um, you know what I did, right? Um, one of these I took pictures of, but got them in the wrong order, and I labeled two of these 18 when I was going through it accidentally, must have got sidetracked. So this is 3179-18A, is this strand. 3179-18A. If you're searching for that in the online store, you can use that. Um, otherwise, you can just go to the latest items tab or collection on our website. Um, if you drop down the menu for shopping, latest items is usually right at the top, and you can check that out. I just added all of these today. So this is 3179-18A if you want to go right to this listing, or you can look at them all and what's available going to the latest items tab. I love these ones. These blue, I have the red ones and the yellow ones. We're going to have some yellow ones coming up. If you missed out on those, I don't know what's selling in the online store and what's not yet, but we have some more yellow ones coming up. Now, these are all available right now, so if somebody could have grabbed them up before I even show them, that's possible. Um, but I don't know. 
I don't know. But thank you all who are shopping. We appreciate it a lot. And remember, those mystery boxes are available. If you didn't um, hear, if you weren't here in the beginning, we released some mystery boxes <clears throat> over the new year. We did the same thing as last year because people seem to really love that. We have a small size mystery box and a large size mystery box. So big and small. The big mystery box is like our normal mystery boxes. It comes in a USPS small priority box and it's chock full of goodies. The small mystery box is $25 and it is a mystery inspiration kit is what that's gonna be. All right. So this is 3179-18B. 3179-18B. Marianne ordered the blue and the yellow. Thank you. Those are good choices. Good choices. And here's this orange one. I think we started out the first one was this one or something. I don't know. But this, I love this. <coughs> Harry ordered the red and the blue. Harry got the red one. Nice. So blue's taken. Both blues look like they're taken. The yellow, one of the yellow and one of the reds. The, we are going to have some extra yellows, but I think that goes for that whole collection. Thank you all. Um, so this is 3179-18B. And this is little orangey ones. One of my favorites of the whole night. I like this style, this little almost pebble-like style. And the holes on these are pretty big, surprisingly. Um, for as small as these beads are, I'm going to say definitely one millimeter leather will fit through most of those or should. All right. Harry says, hard to pass up those bright colors. Yeah, they're really vivid, really vivid colors. Um, this is another yellow. So we should have, we should have some these yellows available because I think we have four of these yellow strands available. This is 3179-19, 3179-19. Beautiful, bright, vivid yellows. I love, love, love these. They just feel like, they look like jelly to me because they have this, this clear coat on them and it just makes them feel like, like they're like a jelly. I like beads that look like that. I don't know if you can see that on these kind of the edges. It's the very edge. It's kind of a clear that magnifies. It's just so pretty. So this is 3179-19. 3179-19. Again, these are all $15 each. They range from about 21 to 24 inch strands. 20 to 24. Um, and they're all 15 bucks. All the sizes, as much as I could do, or as best as I could do, um, average sizes for them are in the descriptions and the titles of the of the listings. Here's the other one. This is the other multi-strand. This strand has a little bit of purple and a little bit of red. A little bit of purple and a little bit of red. I like that combination, actually. Um, 3179-20. 3179-20. There's another order. I like that sound. Thank you so much, whoever that was. We appreciate it. Looks like somebody's grabbing a few of these maybe. Um, yeah, 3179-20. What more can you say? These are just beautiful little almost rice beads. They're the rice shape. Some of them. Some of them are a little bit more less. Oh, they're all pretty rice shaped. Bonnie says that was me. Thank you, Bonnie. 3179-20 is this strand. Love it. Love it. I love these two-tone. Um, they're harder to sell because, you know, sometimes people want just the one color, but I think they're really interesting when they come with different, different colors on them. 3179-21. 3179-21. Is this really pretty? This is another one of these gray blue ones that have the triangular um, faceting at the end. They facet it down into like a triangle on each side, but it's a little bit shifted from each side. So it gives it a little bit of a twisty look. I like these. I'm sure there's a name for that kind of facet. I would think so, but I don't know it. So I try to describe it as best as I can. 3179-21 are these. 
available in the online store at allegorygallery.com. You can type in 3179-21 to go right to this listing or go to the latest items tab in the shopping drop down menu and you'll see them all there, anything that's left. We have a few people buying them today. We appreciate that. I'd like to hear that sale cha-ching happen. It's a good sound, it's a good sound. And we have one more of these yellow. I won't stay too long on this one because we've had a few of these. You know what they're like. 3179-22. 3179-22. And as you can see, the beads on here are all different sizes. I picked one or two and checked them out and tried to figure out what was the most common on the strand and use that. <clears throat> Bonnie says, that bell reminds me of the Seinfeld episode with Lynn, with Lloyd Braun, another cell, Mr. Costanza. I don't remember that episode, but I'm going to have to look it up. Um, but that's, that's what I like. I like that noise. We like to hear that. Marion says, would look good with blue sapphires, yellow and blue. Beautiful, beautiful together. All right, there you go. Um, I also wanted to remind everybody that um, in our online store, we have a last chance gemstone collection and that is going to be going away soon. So be sure to grab your last chance gemstones. Um, there's a discount code last chance that you can get 15% off still, um, but it's going to be going away soon. So be sure you grab anything and use that discount code. Um, it won't work on these but it will work on the Last Chance Gemstone Collection. Those are singular strands in there that are just one of each left. Um, so use Last Chance, save 15% before that discount goes away. Now that's not to say we won't have a discount on them later, um, you know, in general, but uh, right now is, you know, somebody else could grab them before you. So now's a good time to grab them. Suzanne got some Last Chance Stones. Thank you so much. Marianne says, actually thinking of the smoky blue ones, but yellow would work too. Yeah, both of them would work with nice blue sapphires, right? This is one of those kind of, um, the ones that, that kind of are illuminated. They, they have that flash to them. These, I think, are a little, the other ones are a little bit more uh, purpley pink. These are a little bit more of the pink beige color. Beautiful strand, 3179-23. 3179-23. I think you can see some of that flash there. These are really pretty. Some of them grab that light really well. 3179-23. This is a nice long strand too. Nice long strand. They're all between 20 and about 24 inches. All right. <clears throat> so that's the $15 strands. Um, now we're gonna go up a little bit into the $20 strands. And this is 3182-1, 3182-1. And these are $20, these are from Ghana. These are Ghana glass. And this, I don't know if you can see it, it's really hard to see sometimes on, on camera. This is a little bit um, in a, it's kind of with some clear with purple. This is a purple color. I don't know if that's coming across on your screen or not, but um, parts of this is purple and parts of these beads are clear and they are gorgeous. I love this strand, 3182-1. It's just so different and so beautiful. So any of these dark, even though if you can't see it on the screen, the, the clear part is like a clear, um, and then the darker parts are a purple color. It does look brownish, Marianne, and that's the, that's the thing. Um, but they are a purple hue to them. They have a purple color. They are nice. Oh, they almost look like an amethyst, like from lavender amethyst to a nice dark amethyst. And that's the thing is they do look brown all the time. And... Um, I hope on my picture that I took, I hope they look more purple on your screen. But this is 3182-1. 3182-1. 
wonder if I use it. Use my purple. Maybe that will show the pur that shows the purple. I think a little better. Actually, putting them on purple. Hopefully, you can see the purple there a little better. They are really pretty, and you get just that hint of color sometimes. It's pretty, pretty lovely. Okay, so that's three one eight two dash one, and then three one eight two dash two. It's also $20. This is the only under 20 inch strand that we have. This is a 19 inch strand. And this one is a little bit uh, brown and a little bit like green, I'm going to say, like an army brown green color, um, which may not be the best way to describe it, but <clears throat> it's a it's still pretty. It's, it's like kind of, let's say mossy. We'll call it mossy instead of army brown green. Mossy green and mossy brown. Everyone likes that better, right? So this is a 19 inch strand, if I remember correctly, 3182-2, 3182-2, it's a $20 strand, one left, one only, Marianne says earthy, right, earthy, earthy strand. Sylvia says, hi, William, join late, always enjoy seeing you, I'll be sure to watch the replay and check out your online store. Yes, all these are right in the online store, you don't even have to watch this if you don't want to. I tried to make sure the pictures were as good as I could color wise, but I know seeing them in motion helps a lot. But everything is at allegorygallery.com. If you go into the, if you search African, or go into the latest items tab um, in the shop tab, shop menu, you'll be able to see all of these. And the last strand I have for you this evening is this one. And this is three one, where is it? Three one eight three dash one. Three one eight three dash one. These are, they are clear, and then it's like a gray blue. It's so icy. Like, if you want something that looks like ice, these are perfect. These are perfect. And they're little discs. And I love these. Bonnie says, that's the one I bought. Well, there you go. So this one, everybody, sorry, sold already, it looks like. Um, Bonnie may have gotten it already. So Ghana Glass, it was $30, 3183-1. No use showing you, I guess, other than to tease you all, because it looks like Bonnie got that one, if that's the one, unless she's behind. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to still show you in case it's not gone yet. And if it is gone, I'm sorry. You're going to have to just, just sit through this a little bit. But this is one of my favorite strands in the entire store favorite strands in the entire store and it looks like bonnie is going to be taking that home with her so i'm glad they went to a good home all right all righty <clears throat> so that is that let me flip this camera around real quick or as quick as i possibly can with all the steps it takes to do it hello again everybody okay so I hope you enjoyed that. Again, these are great on their own, but the reason we're specifically adding these to the online store today is because throughout the month of January, we want to continue adding more African beads to the online store so that um, you all can um, add to your Global Adventure Kit. If you got the Global Adventure African Kit, um, that's the January's adventure around the world. And uh, yeah, it makes a great addition to all of that, you can add these to it, mix and match, and you know, continually build that kit out using these add-ons. So we're gonna be adding more African glass as the month goes on. We're not gonna like pump it all in right now, but throughout the month, we're gonna be adding more. Um, it may not all come in time for the TGBE to get to you. Uh, so you should have the kit though. I think we shipped all of those kits out. And um, so hopefully, Hopefully, um, you've gotten that already, or it's on its way to you before the TGBE. But we do, um, <clears throat> even if you didn't get the kit, um, Bonnie, Bonnie did not, unfortunately, but uh, said, I wish I would have gotten that, but this is just as good. Yes. So you can do that. I will say, if you search the AG Fine Pewter line, there are some African-inspired beads in the AG Fine Pewter line. Those also came 
some of those came in with the kit. So if you want to build out your kit a little bit with those, those give you some nice beads. Um, I love all the colors, but I'm the antique copper I especially love, and I think that's what we used in the kit. So you can check out those African Inspire beads in the AG Fine Pewter line and um, add those as well to your order, and we'll ship those out with it. So <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to do a quick wrap up here. So Bead in the New Year is happening right now. It's January 2nd today. It's Make a Bracelet. So we made earrings yesterday. If you made them, I made them today. I'm a day behind, but that's okay. Um, the uh, Make a Bracelet is today. Tomorrow is put together a necklace. Use silk in your design is Wednesday. Thursday is design jewelry using your favorite gemstone. That shouldn't be hard, right? For anybody who doesn't like working with their favorite stuff. Um, use check glass in your design is Friday. And Saturday is use metal as a main element in your design. So that's what's happening this week for Bead in the New Year. If you don't have this, if you go to our blog on our website, go to the blog tab and go to the second page. Just scroll down to the bottom. You can check out the stuff in the first page too, but scroll down to the bottom, hit the number two, and this should be the first post, I think, right now as it stands. And you can go in there and download this PDF, and there are links in the PDF to go to our online store for anything you might not have. So if you don't have Silk, you can tap on that or click on that, and it'll take you to our online store and show you all the Silk that we have in the online store. Um, you do not have to do these in order, by the way. You do not have to do these in order. Um, you can do them out of order. You can skip. You can skip around. You, you know, whatever. It's just, it's for fun. So have fun with it. Um, but if you want to stay in the spirit of it, um, kind of, the spirit of it is to have fun. But if you want to stay in order, some people like to make sure they go in order and cross them off as they go. That's what we're doing this week. Um, Bonnie says, I made one today, but unfortunately it was Candy Cooper Beats. It doesn't matter. The whole idea is not, you know, we want to, you know, I'm not going to turn down a sale, everybody. That's why I put links in the PDF. But if you've already got your beads, it's okay. It doesn't matter where they came from. The idea of this, this is less of a selling thing for us than it is as a spirit of, you know, getting creative. So get creative, have fun with it. It doesn't matter what beads you're using. You could be beads from your stash or you can make an order with us today and purchase things for it. Whatever works for you and whatever you need. Um, so that's happening. Inspired by reading, our book club for 2023 is back. So if you're just tuning in and you didn't hear all that in the beginning, Inspired by Reading on Facebook is a group. Be careful. There's also an Inspired by Reading page. Look for the Inspired by Reading book club group on Facebook. Um, if you're not sure, you can go to our um, you can go to our website and there's a group tab across the top of our website or in the drop down menu. The group, um, the very first group that comes up, I think, in that page, on that page, is Inspired by Reading. The book list is there. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. We skip December because the holidays, nobody reads, nobody makes projects in the holidays. It's too crazy. And then January 2024 is the last book there. So you can get all of your books now. Um, if you use the links on that page, they are affiliate links. We get a little kickback for those. I got to tell you that. But also that helps us. So yes, they are Amazon books, but that also helps your local small business bead store here. Um, but we do recommend, if you can, go to the library, support your local libraries, everybody. We need them. Um, or support your local independent booksellers if you have one. Um, but otherwise, if you don't, get them on Amazon using our links and we'll get a little bit of money for that. Um, so that's back. We read one book a month and we make something inspired by that book. This time it does not have to be jewelry, everybody. You don't have to make jewelry. Um, we've had somebody brew a beer and bring it to the book club. We've had people make shoes. We've had people make other clothing, um, other clothes. We've had people uh, do mixed media things and, you know, kind of scenes and like shadow boxes. And so it's, it's really fun. You can make anything you want. It doesn't have to be excuse me, it doesn't have to be jewelry, just so everybody knows. I like to make that clear because um, I know we make a lot of jewelry and that's 
Great. But if you are somebody who likes to craft in other ways, whether you knit or crochet or do collages or, you know, even digitally, you can do digital things. Um, this is a great time to do that is during the book club. If you are local, we meet on the last Sunday of every month from 6 to 8, 6 to 9 p.m. And we are deciding on a virtual meeting day. So if you are in the book club, but you are not local and you would like to take part in the virtual, probably Zoom meetings we're going to do, then please, there is a post that Andrew posted in the Inspired by Reading Book Club group on Facebook that asks what time and date is good for you. Please answer that. That helps us a lot when we make our decisions. So that's going on. We shared mystery boxes. So there are mystery boxes available in the online store. The last chance gemstone sale will be ending soon. So that discount code last chance is going to end soon to save 15% off those single strands in the online store. So if you've not gotten yours yet, please do save some money and help us get them out of inventory before we have to do the full count on those. And uh, what else? I think that's it. Um, I'm worn out. I'm hoping I'm not getting a cold. I can feel it in the back of my head. Um, so I'm going to go and pick up some vitamins and some something good to eat because I don't feel like doing a lot of cooking tonight. Um, so I'm going to go pick something up at the grocery store and I'm going to go home and I'm going to rest tonight. Even though I've been resting all day yesterday, I'm going to rest again. So thank you all so very much. Um, we really, really do appreciate all of your support. Um, Sylvia says, oh, says to Bonnie, thank you for commenting about other beads. I have a fairly, fairly very large staff um, collected prior to buying Be a Business on TGB. Yeah, our, you know, our, this bead in the new year is all about you. This isn't about us. Um, you can make it about us by helping and supporting us and buying things. That's okay. But this is all about you and giving you a way to stay creative. And we do this because, you know, the new year can be full of craziness, right? And for us, especially in this part of the world, it's winter too. So it's dirty outside a lot of times. It's cold. No one wants to go out. You're stuck inside sometimes. And it's just not creative making time right so we want to kick start your year that's why we do beat in the new year it's not about selling things um, obviously some of these things on here um, they don't they don't have a link in the pdf because there's nothing in the online store to buy for them um, so it's not all about selling for us it's it's about getting you and keeping you creative um, and helping us on our end stay creative too because it's hard on us too this time of year so again thank you i'm gonna go you all have a wonderful night i will see you back here on wednesday andrew will probably be doing something with you tomorrow for tuesday as i'm at my other job so he usually does a demo um and yeah that's it i think if i miss something stay tuned to our facebook page our instagram page um, we post all of our stuff there all right or most of it all of it on Facebook, most of it on Instagram. All right. Thanks so very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening, everybody. And happy new year. Bye-bye.